have a seat. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 all right, you good? Mayor Bob Heflin. First of all, where's Rick? Hi, there he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Will you come up here? Uh, thank you for that uh, incredible introduction. <laughs> the Honorable Mayor of Weymouth, Robert L. Heflin. Thank you for uh, everyone joining us in support of Rick. And I'll try to talk over the music. Can you hear us back there? Yeah. What? So to start with, let me get a few introductions out of the way. We have some people who are kind enough to come out, who have positions of great influence and power in the town of Weymouth, starting with our counselor, Chris Hepperman, over here. <laughs> great former counselor, Edmund Harrington, oh, over here. with multiple sign locations down in his old district. We have a number of uh, appointed yeah. positions here. We have Jim Parker, who you met at the door, unfortunately just left our housing authority. Janet Fogarty from our housing authority. Uh, our latest registrar, who followed a little controversy over here, Paul Cardinal, classmate of mine somewhere over here. We have a tap from the housing authority. Oh, yeah. Almost a third. It's a good thing Jim just resigned because we would have probably an open meeting violation here. <laughs> um, who else we got? Another, another registrar, Alex Aiken. Oh, yep, Alex is Alex here. Aiken oh, is here. and state Aiken. representative has come across the border. The great Dave DeCoast from Norwell. Oh. Another housing authority member. I got Victor, right? I just got him. Victor oh. Pap. Where'd he go? And uh, Chief of Staff Ted Langell, who is uh, really responsible for a lot of the great work. Two different uh, board members from the SRA de redevelopment. Um, we have uh, Chris Cremiano was here a minute ago. There he's right in front of me. <laughs> Pat O'Toole is here. Larry. Pat O'Leary, too. <laughs> Not to be confused with the weight and coach in high school. I'm sorry. Already had slept. And of course, the woman who had to sign off on this important mission in the back of the room, Rick's wife, Cheryl. And I don't know where to stop this because we can go on all night and who's who, but uh, from our, our planning board, uh, Paul Rotundo. In addition to Chief of Staff Landry here from the town side, in our planning department, Director Bob Luongo. All complaints. All complaints this evening are directed to him. He has an empty seat next to him awaiting to use it. Provide. So, real quick, um, an election season is upon us. And um, I'm not going to get into the specifics on how this candidacy came to be, especially with that camera running. <laughs> but um, I was pretty much undecided very late whether to do another term. And um, to be honest with you, there's a lot of love I was feeling at Town Hall. And we really have a good team up there. I can't say enough about the work ethic uh, with most people who are uh, at Town Hall. And um, I've been in the private sector. I had a business. I actually three businesses at different times. Ten years in the truck repair business, a foray into the restaurant business, 21 years on Beacon Hill. And the work ethic I see with people like Bob Luongo, Ted Langell, and others uh, is second to none. And uh, they suckered me into signing up for another term. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't looking for a squad line. But we also have a council race, and um, we had the departure of one incumbent that, uh, that is on the town council, one of the uh, at-large councilors. There's not a lot of activity here uh, in, in races. Really, the only two races are mine in this particular race, I think. I don't think we have contested seats for school committee, right? and uh, we only have one contested race for district council. But anyway, there was one incumbent that was leaving, and I happened to be with Rick one day, and uh, I said, gee, no one else is stepping up. Someone's going to walk in unopposed 